I know why I'm here. I read it on Facebook. People on Facebook, they don't know. They don't know that I'm creeping on them. I look through their pictures, hundreds of pictures a day. I know where you are, what you're doing, and why you're doing it. All right, my name is Horatio Kane. Um, I'm addicted to the internet. Uh, ever since I was seven or eight years old, I started spending three or four hours online, and uh, it just it just grew, and it's become a problem. Um, which brings me to what I'm supposedly supposedly uh, diagnosed with uh, internet addiction, specifically for online forums. They call me Felicious on Craigslist, especially. It's because I'm so delicious in bed. I'm five one. And even though that's a tad a bit short, my legs stretch for miles. Hi everyone, my name is Shopping Stacy. Well, actually, my name is Stacy, but people call me Shopping Stacy. Um, so I guess you're wondering why I'm here. I honestly don't know why I'm here, but some people think that I have a shopping addiction, more like an internet addiction. Uh. I, I should have known all along. I mean, at first, I, I noticed my passwords were disabled, and it just got me really mad inside. And then, and then, and then they just came. That that one night, they came, and they took away my computers. And I, I cried out to them. You know, this is my this is my this is my computer. I I spend my life on here, and I I, I, I can't go with you right now. I mean, uh, I I just couldn't take it. Okay, that, that's my computer. Okay. That's more important to me than my family. Okay, I spent my life there. <laughs> I heard that they use Craigslist for, I think, just trading stuff or talent or looking for jobs. But I haven't used any of that. And One day I was looking through um, an acquaintance's profile and I was flipping through their pictures. And I accidentally hit like on one of the pictures. After that, everyone knew I was a creeper. There was no way to go back. Yeah, I saw everything. Everything they put on Facebook, on the news feed. I was, I was top news. Sally the Creeper. so sad because I wanted to keep stalking them. Someone um, my family's kicked me out of my house just because I don't want to spend time with them. I'd rather spend time online with my online friends. It started off with a forum called TOTSI, or it stands for Temple of the Screaming Electron. And um, I, just, I just spent like half my day there. Um, I was online during class, and all I wanted to do was just connect with these people even though um, I didn't really have any friends in real life. And basically the online uh, community provided a lot of support for me and I felt like I belonged to a certain group, to a certain kind of mindset. Um, moving on from Totsi, there's a spin-off called Rorda, which is also another uh, bulletin board system on the internet and I spent a lot of time there. I was a contributing member uh, moderator on one of the forums, and then after uh, Tati and Rorda uh, closed down, I, I started hanging out at livingwithstyle.com, and um, you know, that was cool because they had the style points, which like if you said something cool, people could give you these points, and you could exchange these points for goods that you could, uh, or like uh, little prizes or items that you could um, just basically have, like throwing ninja stars or um, I think like fireworks, um, but after living with style clothes, I was pretty devastated. I didn't have any friends for a good three or four months until I found another website, and this is the website I'm currently using. It's called reddit.com. Uh, basically, uh, I, Reddit has taken over my life. I spend a good 12 hours on it each day. You know, once, uh, once my folks saw that, you know, I was spending more time at home and online than out with my friends, you know, they, they thought I was a problem. That's why they referred me here to Online Anonymous. And, um, yeah, I mean, this program is teaching me how to uh, make friends in real life, which uh, I'm not used to.
but uh, I think it's going to be good because I'm going to spend some more time outside in the open. You know, I haven't, you know, breathed fresh air in about six months, and this will be a good change for me. But, you know, I'm scared. Uh, you know, I, I'm not used to being away from my online community, uh, specifically reddit.com. Shout out right there. You know, uh, I, I think most of the people there are, you know, addicted to the Internet, too. But um, they obviously don't have it as bad as I do. Uh, so my issue is, is that I just can't help it. I love to spend money. I see something and I like have to have it. It's like adorable and I want it. I mean, what can I say? I just, I have to have it. Um, let me think. What I buy today? Oh my gosh. It goes on. Oh, let me start. Shoes. I picked up the cutest pair of black Jessica Simpson crocodile pumps. And they were the perfect size. That is my favorite reason to shop online. Every time I go to the, every time I go to the store, I have the most common shoe size. My shoe size is seven and a half. So every time I want a cute pair of shoes, they're always out. Online, never, always available. And then there's deals like buy one, get two free, or like buy one, get one half off. And it's like, I just can't help myself. I always see more pairs and I just, oh, what girl can't have enough shoes? Oh, and I bought some like awesome new hair products. So I'm definitely be trying those out. Really excited. Um, bought a whole brand new set of makeup brushes. Definitely be putting those to use. I mean, I already have like two sets, but like honestly, this one was like really, it was an amazing price, amazing deal. Had to have it. And I think, I think that's it. Oh no, wait a second, I forgot. I totally bought a lot more. Okay, so I bought a couple things for the house. Like I bought some pillows, because I wanted my room to match, you know? And I just redid the curtains because I found this great deal. So I thought, oh my gosh, I like had to buy the rest of the bed set so it would match, you know what I mean? Or else it just doesn't make any sense. So. Go on Craigslist now and you'll find my post. Someone filed a restraining order and I think that's, that's when someone signed me up for this class, for this. Someone signed me up for this, this online anonymous group. I'm going to find out who made me come. I'll find out. So I guess my addiction is such a problem that when I got home and I wasn't shopping, I promise, okay, fingers crossed. I only shop online, got it? Online shopping, you know? But I came home and my parents were staying at the door and my best friend was there. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel a bit betrayed, but whatever. I mean, that's like a different story completely. And there was this weird guy there. And apparently this guy was my escort to online anonymous. They packed my clothes. Oh, by the way, they forgot like 80% of them. They gave me like five pairs of clothes and like three pairs of shoes. What am I supposed to do with three pairs of shoes? That's like one day's worth of shoes. I don't understand how I can be here. I just, I want to go home. I miss my shoes and I miss my clothes and my pillows. I just want to go home. Uh. You know, I, I'm just trying to get better. I'm just trying to get better.